It is a beautiful summer day in Salzburg. A young man is playing the violin in one of the squares. There is an old black hat in front of his feet. A crowd of young people are listening to him. He stops playing and smiles. The people clap their hands and throw money into his hat. Then they walk away. A young woman comes up to him. That's beautiful music, she says. Yes, it's by Mozart. Salzburg is Mozart's city, so I play Mozart's music. The young man smiles. Do you want a cup of coffee? Yes, but Salzburg is very expensive and I haven't much money. The young man laughs. Don't worry, he says. There's plenty of money in my hat. Come on. Peter likes Vienna. The city is full of tourists and he makes a lot of money. But he's thinking of Jarmila. He writes her a postcard. The two young people drink their coffee. I don't know your name. The young man says, I don't know yours. All right, my name is Peter and I'm from England. What's your name? Jarmilla. Jarmilla, that's a beautiful name. It's Czech. I come from Prague and I'm a student at Prague University. I'm going to Prague next week. Perhaps we can meet there. Why are you going to Prague? Asks Jarmila. I'm traveling through Europe. I play my violin and people give me money, says Peter. I'm going to Vienna tomorrow and then I'm going to Prague. Prague is beautiful. Isn't it, Jarmila? Just like you. Jarmila smiles, but she doesn't say anything. Can I see you in Prague? Peter asks. I don't know. Perhaps. Yes. Where? In the old town square. There are lots of tourists there at the weekend. You can play your violin there. All right, the old town square next weekend. Don't forget, Jarmila. Dear Jarmila, this is St. Stephen's Cathedral. I'm playing my violin outside the cathedral. The people here like my music, but I'm thinking of Prague and the old town square. Wait for me there. Love, Peter. Now, Peter is in Prague. He is playing his violin in the old town square. His hat is in front of his feet. People clap their hands. Some of them dance to the music. Everyone is having fun. But Peter is looking for Jarmila. Suddenly, he sees her at the back of the crowd. But she is with a young man. The young man has his arm around her shoulders. Peter puts down his violin and runs towards them. Jarmila, he shouts, Jarmila. But there are too many people, and at first he can't get through the crowd. He pushes people aside and gets to the back of the crowd, but he can't see Jarmila.
she isn't there. Peter is very sad. He walks the streets of Prague looking for Jarmila. He crosses the river and climbs up the hill to Prague Castle. It is evening now. He looks down on the lights of the city below. He thinks about this afternoon. He thinks about Jarmila and about the young man with her. Who is the young man? He asks himself. Where is Jarmila? Peter speaks his thoughts aloud. Jarmila, Jarmila, where are you? Why are you hiding from me? But I'm not hiding from you, Peter, a voice says. I'm here. And Jarmila steps forward. Peter puts his arms around her. They kiss. Oh, Jarmila, is it really you? Yes, Peter. But why? Jarmila puts her finger to his lips. Wait, Peter. I want to tell you everything. They sit down and Jarmila tells her story. The young man's name is Vassal. Jarmila's father and Vassal's father are friends. Jarmila likes Vassal, but he is in love with her. Vassal wants to marry her. Her father wants this too. But I cannot marry Vassal, Jarmila says. Vassal is a nice man, but I do not love him. I love you, Peter. Peter puts his arms around Jarmila and kisses her. And I love you, Jarmila. I have no money and no job, but I want to marry you. Money isn't important, Peter. Love is important. Then Jarmila looks sad. But it's no good. My father wants me to marry Vassal. Perhaps your mother can help us. My mother is dead. Oh, I'm sorry, says Peter. Poor father, he's still very sad. I want to meet your father. I want to tell him about us. No, Peter. Please let him meet me, Jarmila. Please, darling. Jarmila's father is a big man with short gray hair. He looks like a bear. He doesn't smile and he speaks in a low voice. Sit down, young man, he tells Peter. Have a drink. And he pours Peter a drink. It looks like water. Jarmila's father raises his glass. Nastravia. Nastravia. Peter replies and drinks. It isn't water. It burns like fire. Peter coughs. He can't speak. Jarmila hits him on his back. Now, young man, you want to marry my daughter. That is impossible. Jarmila is going to marry Vassal. His father and I are friends and... But father, I do not love Vassal, Jarmila says. I love Peter and he loves me. What do you say, Peter? Speak up, man. But Peter cannot speak. He is still coughing. Jarmila brings him a glass of water. He drinks it. At last, Peter can speak. Yes, sir, it is true, he says. 
We love each other. Nonsense. Love is not important. Have you got a job? Have you got any money? Well, I... You have no job and no money and you want to marry my daughter? Nonsense. Peter is a musician. He plays the violin very well. Listen to him, father. Jarmila turns to Peter. Play for us, Peter, she says. Peter starts to play. He plays Czech music, and it is very sad. Jarmila's father closes his eyes. Then tears run down his big face. Jarmila's father is crying. My Eva's favorite music, he says. Oh, Eva, my dear wife. Jarmila kisses him and dries his tears. Don't cry, father, she says. Eva, darling, Jarmila's father says. I think of you every day. I love you still. Love is important, father, isn't it? Jarmila's father kisses her hand. Oh yes, my dear, you are right. Love is important. Marry your violinist, Jarmila, and be happy together. And God bless you.